Beyond the Bow, brought to you by Carpet Tech. There's nothing quite like cozying up with family and friends in the holidays, but sadly there are those who spend the holidays without a loved one, like our elderly in nursing homes. But as Marcus Risen tells you, one West Texan is going above and beyond to make their holidays just a little bit brighter. The holidays are all about being with family and loved ones, but for some people, that isn't possible. They don't have family near them, or they don't have a family at all. That's where the Silver Bells program and President Bobby Slaughter come in. Silver Bells was started in 1999 or 2000. They saw the need to bring holiday cheer to people in nursing homes. Uh, she saw a need for residents that had no family. So she made sure at that point to give them a gift for Christmas so they're not felt left out. Silver Bell's mission is to make sure everyone in West Texas can enjoy Christmas. Silver Bell's is a holiday gift project for local nursing home residents. Our mission is to purchase gifts for residents who might not otherwise have a joyous holiday season. So what we basically do is provide gifts for the residents that have no family. So that way they're not left out and they know that they are cared about. Through the years, it has it evolved to the way we do it now. In the past, uh, we used to get a large Christmas gift bag and put items in such as lotion, chapstick, uh, stuffed animals, stuff like that they could use. But with the shipping this year has just been uh, so erratic, we decided to go with the $1,200 gift cards for the facility and just make sure our residents are covered. Slaughter has been with the Silver Bells for 20 years, and he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. I, I've always been a, a, a person to volunteer, and I actually saw an advertisement on TV saying they needed help, and I just felt the need to volunteer for them, and then when I got into that organization volunteering, then I got into the Silver Bells, they gave me this program. From there, Slaughter climbed the ranks, and is now the president of the organization. They go all around the Permian Basin, serving a multitude of nursing homes. Approximately 37 or 38 in the Permian Basin, as we go to Midland, Odessa, La Mesa, Crane, Pecos, Port Stockton, Monahans, uh, Stanton. What we do is I start calling the facilities mid-November and ask them if there's a need. And then the ones that get back with me is the one that we do our budget with to see how much we can afford to send each facility. So there was only eight this year they responded, but that's well over 300 residents. 300 residents whose Christmas is a lot better. It is such a blessing to, to be able to do this. If you could see the uh, faces of the residents receive something from us, it, it is such a blessing and I am blessed uh, to be able to do this. It shows that if you can help someone in need, you should, because the feeling of helping other people is better than whatever gift you might receive under the tree. In Midland, I'm Marcus Risen. Well, this organization is the reason for a lot of smiles during the holiday season, and you can help too. The original deadline to donate was today, but they extended it, so there's still time. If you're interested, visit our website, newswest9.com, for all the details.